What if, in the vast expanse of space, a tiny fleck of dust collides with a spaceship? This simple question brings to mind an array of complex scenarios and potential risks. How much danger, you might wonder, does such an encounter pose? In the cosmic wilderness, the smallest particles can carry the force of a bullet. To understand the magnitude of this, imagine holding a piece of gravel in your hands. Seemingly harmless here on Earth, it becomes a lethal projectile once it's propelled through the vacuum of space. The contrast is startling, isn't it? The cosmic particles we're discussing aren't large asteroids or meteors. No, these are micrometeoroids, particles that are incredibly small but incredibly fast. When something as minuscule as a grain of sand strikes a spaceship, it's not just a simple bump in the road, it's a potential catastrophe. Micrometeoroids, you see, travel through space at astounding speeds. They can reach velocities up to 56,000 miles per hour. That's faster than any bullet fired from a gun. To put this into perspective, the fastest bullet ever recorded was a mere 4,200 miles per hour. This means micrometeoroids can be over 10 times faster. When a micrometeoroid collides with a spaceship, the result is a powerful and dangerous reaction. The impact energy from this minute cosmic bullet transforms into an intense heat, causing a small explosion on the surface of the spacecraft. Picture a tiny spark upon impact growing into a mini fireball that leaves a mark on the spaceship. This process, known as hypervelocity impact, can cause serious damage to the spaceship. Imagine the surface of the spacecraft being peppered with these tiny high-speed particles. Over time, this could cause significant wear and tear. The spacecraft's defense against this cosmic menace is its outer layer, the Whipple Shield. Named after the American astronomer Fred Whipple, this shield is designed specifically to protect against such high-speed collisions. It's not just a simple armor plating. It's a sophisticated piece of engineering designed to mitigate the destructive force of micrometeoroids. When a micrometeoroid smashes into the Whipple shield, it doesn't just bounce off harmlessly. Instead, it vaporizes, creating a cloud of superheated gas. This might sound alarming, but it's an intentional and crucial part of the shield's design. The gas cloud that forms acts as a buffer. It disperses swiftly, reducing the overall force of the impact on the spacecraft. It's a brilliant example of how science and engineering can turn what could be a catastrophic event into a manageable one. All of this happens in the blink of an eye. We're dealing with particles traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour after all. The interplay of physics and engineering unfolds in fractions of a second, a spectacular dance of cosmic proportions, all taking place in an instant. It's a fascinating interplay of physics and engineering, all taking place in fractions of a second. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember the invisible dance happening between tiny particles and colossal spaceships. It's a reminder of how vast and intricate our universe truly is. But what if the micrometeoroid penetrates the shield? This scenario is something that has been explored extensively by experts and scientists. It's a chilling thought for any astronaut or space explorer out there. This tiny fragment hurtling through the vast, infinite expanse of space could puncture the protective shield that is our only defense in the harsh, unforgiving environment of the cosmos. The consequences, as one might imagine, can be catastrophic, to say the very least. A breach in the hull, which is primarily to withstand the rigors and challenges of space travel, could cause widespread damage. It's not just a simple hole that we are talking about. No, this would be a gaping wound in the spacecraft, a fatal flaw that might well prove to be its undoing. The hull breach could lead to a rapid decompression, a phenomenon that is as deadly as it sounds. This process, occurring instantaneously, could suck the life out of the spaceship, rendering it a hollow, lifeless husk floating aimlessly in the void of space. The pressure inside the ship would drop to dangerous levels, making survival a near impossible feat. The now inhabitable interior of the spaceship would pose a significant risk to the crew. The loss of breathable air would be immediate, and life-supporting systems would cease to function. The temperature inside the ship would also plummet, causing environmental conditions resembling the harsh exterior of space. This would make any form of human life unsustainable, the catastrophic effects would ripple through the ship's systems, rendering them ineffective. 
Communication systems would be compromised, making it impossible for the crew to send out distress signals or communicate with mission control back on Earth. Navigation and propulsion systems would also fail, leaving the ships stranded in the void of space. Moreover, the risk of power failure is high. The energy needed to sustain lighting and other crucial elements would disappear, leaving the crew to grapple with darkness in an increasingly hostile interior environment. Yet as dire as these circumstances may sound, they can be prevented. This is why constant vigilance and routine maintenance are essential in space travel. Regular checks and servicing of the spacecraft's hull and shield, monitoring of systems and rapid response to warning signs can keep a catastrophe at bay. It's in this constant vigilance that the safety and survival of the crew lies. The crucial task of safeguarding the ship and ensuring the safety of those on board falls squarely on the shoulders of the dedicated astronauts and engineers. Their dutiful watch is what keeps the dreadful prospect of a micrometeoroid penetrating the shield from becoming a horrifying reality. To wrap up, space is not as empty as it seems. As we delve further into the vast expanse of the unknown, it is essential to understand the unseen dangers lurking within the seemingly vacant void. What appears to be a tranquil, infinite expanse of darkness is, in reality, teeming with multitudes of tiny particles known as micrometeoroids. These micrometeoroids are more than just specks of dust. They serve as a reminder of the complex and violent nature of the cosmos. Originating from various cosmic events like exploding stars and colliding asteroids, these tiny entities zip around in the universe. They can be found throughout our solar system in the asteroid belts and even in the confines of the Earth's atmosphere. Though minute, these particles pose a significant threat to the safety and stability of any object that ventures into space, particularly our spaceships. Micrometeoroids travel at phenomenal speeds, often reaching velocities that defy human comprehension. Imagine a bullet sped several hundred times and you begin to fathom the velocities involved. These meteoroids, though small, carry a significant amount of kinetic energy due to their immense speeds. Upon collision with a spaceship, they can cause serious damage. While a single micrometeoroid may not be of concern, the cumulative effect of numerous micrometeoroids striking the spaceship could be devastating. What makes these collisions truly dangerous is the science behind them. It isn't merely the force of the impact, but what occurs when these micrometeoroids strike. The phenomenon is known as hypervelocity impact. The term refers to the conversion of kinetic energy into heat energy upon collision. This results in a small explosion that can cause extensive damage to the spaceship's surface. It's like having a tiny bomb detonated on the spaceship's surface with each micrometeoroid strike. To protect against these potentially catastrophic incidents, spaceships are equipped with a unique shield called the Whipple Shield. Named after the American astronomer Fred Whipple who invented it, this shield is designed to absorb and deflect the impact of micrometeoroids, reducing the risk of penetration. The Whipple Shield functions by causing the micrometeoroids to disintegrate upon impact thus dissipating their energy. However, as advanced as our technology may be, there still exist threats that we cannot entirely eliminate. There's a possibility, however slight, that a micrometeoroid might penetrate the Whipple shield. That could lead to a breach in the spaceship's hull, causing depressurization or worse, the destruction of the spacecraft. This is a sobering reminder that in the grand scheme of things, even our most advanced technologies are vulnerable to the formidable forces of nature. Therefore, in the endless void of space, even the smallest speck of dust can be a formidable adversary.